The 821st Main Space Intelligence Center Russian, Glavnij Center Razvedki Kosmiseskoj Obstanovki TR. GTSRKO is the headquarters of the Russian military space surveillance network, SKKP. The center is part of the Russian Space Forces and receives intelligence from a network of reporting stations which includes the Russian Missile Attack Early Warning Network as well as some stations only used for space surveillance such as Okno and Krona. The purpose of SKKP is to detect satellites, identify them and to discern their orbits. It maintains the Russian catalog of space objects and provides data which could be used to support space launches, feed an anti-satellite program and provide intelligence on hostile military satellites. It is the Russian equivalent of the United States Space Surveillance Network. History The center is based in the military village of Noginsk 9, Russian, Nogansk 9, about a kilometer to the southwest of the village of Dubrovo near Nogansk in Moscow Oblast. It was previously known as TSKKP, Kur from Russian, Center Controller Kosmiseskogo Prostranstva TR. TSENTR Kontrolya Kosmicheskogo Prostranstva meaning Center for Space Monitoring. The idea of a space monitoring system originated in 1963 and the design was agreed upon in 1965. From the beginning, it included civilian astronomical stations run by the Soviet Academy of Sciences. The system needed to detect, identify, and track satellites and create a satellite catalog. The first satellite detection system consisted of eight DNESTR radars, four at Mishalevka in Siberia and four at Balkhash in the Kazakh SSR which provided information for the Istribitel Sputnik anti-satellite system. Construction on the center began in 1965 and in 1968 a 5E51 computer was installed. The first part of the center was placed on alert in 1970 and became operational in 1972. As part of the Soviet air defenses, in 1974 plans to link up the Space Surveillance Center with the Missile Warning Center and Missile Defense Radars were realized. There were several problems with this, one significant issue was that they used different coordinate systems. One drawback of linking the early warning radars to the Space Surveillance Center was that it caused data on thousands of routine objects to be sent to the center, overwhelming it with data. To counter this, a program called COSMOS was implemented. This program asked the radar stations only to send information on requested objects and launches rather than everything they identified. One concern raised with COSMOS was that it took the radar stations two to three minutes to do this, which disrupted their tracking of ballistic missiles. It was important that the system concentrated on the military satellites of hostile countries and filtered these out from the noise of the wider space environment. The early warning radars could only cover satellites in low Earth orbits. In the 1980s, more U.S. military satellites were placed in geosynchronous orbits. This required specialized equipment, such as Krona and Okno, which could analyze satellites at that height. In the late 1980s the center received a new building housing an Elbrus II computer. Later a new network based on the Elbrus 90 microcomputer was installed. The Space Monitoring Center was awarded the Soviet Minister of Defense pennant for courage and military valor. In 2003 a notification system for detecting special spacecraft passing over the country was implemented topic <inaudible> <inaudible> catalog the center maintains the russian catalog of space objects similar to that of norad the radar stations send the center a six dimensional vector consisting of coordinates and velocities taken from the smoothing of discrete measurements this data consists of range, azimuth and elevation angle, and in addition some radars send radial velocity. The center compares the measurements to the catalog to see whether it is a known object. If not, additional data is collected to see if the signal represents a new orbit of a known object. 
If it is not then a new object is catalogued. Topic: <laughs> Organizational structure. The Space Surveillance Network was part of the Soviet air defenses, called the PVO, and was incorporated as part of the Missile Defense and Space Defense Force. In 1998 SKKP became part of the Missile and Space Defense Organization (RKO), together with Missile Warning Network SPRN and the Anti-Missile Forces. In 2001 these services became part of the newly founded Space Troops, and were incorporated as the Third Independent Missile and Space Defense Army. The main Space Intelligence Center was formed on 1 December 2009 and since December 2011 it had been part of the Space Command of the Russian Aerospace Defense Forces, together with facilities such as the 820th Main Center for Missile Attack Warning and 153rd Titov Main Space Testing Center. Topic See also Joint CIS Air Defense System. Equals equals notes. <laughs>